Last photo I got was a collage that my wife made of a couple of gifts that I had got her last weekend. A couple of pair of Uggs, shoes, bracelet, a Michael Kors watch. Just showing her that I love her and appreciate it to the extent that gifts going to come before Christmas, after Christmas, and so forth and so on. This morning, I just took a picture of my cat sheet because I was joking with my friends. She sent me a picture from her cat sheet, so I sent her exactly the same. So It's a picture of me playing Guitar Hero naked while lying down on a beanbag. Um, I don't remember much of the backstory, so I think I was pretty drunk. That photo right here, man, that's me chilling out on the spa, at the spa, you know what I'm saying? With my girl at the spa, we getting, you know, dual back massages and all that shit, you know? I'm over there with the cucumber water and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta, you gotta live life on the weekends, you know what I mean? You gotta live, you gotta live your life on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? Fucking steak and shrimp on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? I have an album of about 200 photographs of clouds. The inspiration behind it is just sort of release from the city. Hi, it's my nephew. I was feeling really down yesterday. His mom is teaching him how to kiss, so he's always blowing kisses out to everybody. <laughs> oh, it's of a broken lamp that I want to see if I can get Crate and Barrel to reimburse me for. <laughs> That's the last photo of my cell phone. I'm sorry, I should have a richer interior life. I took a picture of a GameCube and we was playing um, Mario Party 7. I think the computer one, actually. Because <laughs> we had them on hard and, you know, Mario. <laughs> Mario on hard, it would be Mario. <laughs> it's, it's my life written out in emoji. Like a typical day in my life. And look at that, that's a well-secured ladder, is it not? When I was a kid, we were taking this stuff and we were throwing it off of roofs. Now you have to have a shoot designed by an engineer and it has to have a stamp and then it has to be approved by somebody. It's a tattoo I got three days ago of a Japanese koi and I've been going through a lot of crap recently. I had court and I got kicked out of my school and it's just um, overcoming my struggles. Oh, this is my granddaughter standing on a chair looking out a window. Good? <laughs> it's of uh, my mom's cat and dog asleep on the bed. So my friends and I decided we were going to make a gingerbread house and we kept doing it wrong so finally we just decided to duct tape the whole thing together and some glue and that's how it turned out. I took a picture to show my producer how focused I was because he thought I was slipping, he thought I wasn't on my grind. So I showed him a picture of me writing and I was just, you know, in my zone, focused. Last photo on my phone is a selfie uh, that I took a few nights ago. See, uh, most of the men in my family have receding hairlines or evolving and it's kind of a fear of mine that's going to happen to me as well. This is kind of embarrassing because the last like 50 photos are of my puppy that I just got. <laughs> I used to take really interesting photos of things, but now it's just the dog all the time. You know, I've been dealing with a lot of women all my life, but when I met this girl, I mean, she just, she got to be an angel from heaven. But an old monkey like me support to have a young spooky. Yeah. All them rich millionaires, man, and these young actors and young girls, she's a beautiful person. I got to give her her props.